keep it moving. The worst that could happen if, 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 if everything was true, all I got to do is repent. Oh my God. When you're facing the allegations that your favorite Bishop T.D. Jakes is facing, why would you get on the pulpit and say, even if it's true, I only have to repent? With those kind of allegations, T.D., homie ain't got no shame. The worst that could happen if, 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 if everything was true, all I got to do is repent sincerely from my heart. There's enough power in the blood to cover all kinds of sins. I don't care what it is, the blood would fix it. But I ain't got to repent about this. All I got to do is step over top of it and keep on going on. Glory to God, I'm not in trouble. I'm talking about the power of the blood, amen. Notice he's talking about the power of the blood, not the power of accountability. The Bible speaks plain. And that you, and you so called modern church go, ahead, go and fake us. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. You look just like the sinner, you act just like the sinner. That's right. And you think just like the sinner. That's right. That's right. That's why you find T.D. Jakes hanging That's out right. with Puff Daddy. Yeah. Before I say anything, this is allegedly. Ain't nobody gonna catch me slipping, okay? Okay. So allegedly, Cassie has turned over evidence to the feds. Yes, to the feds. She has turned over videotapes, a USB drive, and Kim Porter's burner phone. Now, there is also an alleged email out saying a plethora of other things that include T.D. Jakes with Diddy. I'm going to let y'all listen to it. I'm not going to say nothing else. It's here. Yo, bro, Cassie has turned over substantial amounts of evidence to the feds. I'm told that after Cassie had a long conversation with Blank, I have to protect this person. They're going through a lot right now. And her lawyers, she finally was convinced to give up the videotapes and audio recordings that contain footage of S parties and other private gatherings that feature some pretty powerful and prominent people. And get this, she even gave up a burner phone and USBs that belong to Kim Porter with incriminating evidence against Diddy. I'm told that there are a slew of artists, politicians, and entertainers that are about to be exposed and arrested for H10. I'm paraphrasing there, okay? Mm -hmm. H10. I'm told that Cassie's husband played a significant role in getting Cassie to turn over the evidence. It's to my understanding that Cassie felt that by exposing the truth, it would also make her look like a filthy more. And I'm paraphrasing there because some of the videos she turned in, it shows her getting number one on number one. OK, guys, I'm paraphrasing mm -hmm. again and committing more disgusting acts that she was forced to do. I'm also told that multiple male escorts corroborated the fact that T.D. Jakes have slept with multiple men at Diddy's parties and abroad. And they refer to him as being a power bottom. Wow. It's also been said that a young male has acquired a lawyer to represent him as he is set to sue Jakes for an incident that took place when he was just years old. It's been said that the young man was forced to perform sloppy top. And I'm paraphrasing here, guys. You can actually put two and two together to understand what I'm trying to say. Oh. It's been said that the man's family were members of the Potter's house, but left the church in 2015. According to multiple church insiders, the parents were paid off to keep quiet. The guy's a grown man now and is seeking his own justice. It's been said that the young man doesn't even deal with his parents even to this day because they took hush money. According to Pastor Blank, and I have to protect this pastor, Bishop Jakes is about to get railroaded and all of his dirt will be exposed. That's why the bishop has quietly lawyered up. He sees his fall from grace coming. This don't look good for nobody. And when I say nobody, I mean nobody. Hollywood is being turned upside down. Jeffrey Epstein's list is going to come out. If this is actually true, this list is going to come out. And we already know T.D. Jakes is caught up with the other shit, allegedly being the person that is um, messing with Christian Keys. Everybody's saying it's either allegedly T.D. Jakes or allegedly Tyler Perry. It's either one of them. But, oh my God, if this is true... Buckle up, because next year, 2024, y'all better get y'all bingo cards out, because it's going to get real. Some of you logged in or come in out of concern. Some of you come in to hear what I'm going to say. All of you who expect me to address a lie, you can log off. I will not 
use this sacred day and this sacred pulpit to address a lie when I have a chance to preach a truth. I will stand straight up, head up, back straight, and preach the unadulterated, infallible word of God. Because that is what the pulpit is for. But there will be a time. <laughs> So you can stop dragging people and arguing with people and fighting and just log off. All you do is just hit the button. Right there. Log off. There is no show here. In the Gospel of St. Matthew, I will not use this sacred day and this sacred pulpit to address a lie when I have a chance to preach a truth. Now, you know when something eating at you and you, you try not to speak on it and you're just not sure what people thinking. So you got to find a way to speak on it, even though you don't want to. And this guy did. He eventually spoke on it. The worst that could happen if, 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 if everything was true, all I got to do is repent sincerely from my heart. There's enough power in the blood to cover all kinds of sins. I don't care what it is. The blood would fix it. But I ain't got to repent about this. All I got to do is step over top of it and keep on going on. Glory to God, I'm not in trouble. I'm talking about the power of the blood, amen. What happened to him telling people to log off because he wasn't going to address a lie? What happened to the part where he said he wasn't going to use a sacred pulpit to address this situation? All of you who expect me to address a lie, you can log off. I will not use this sacred day and this sacred pulpit to address a lie when I have a chance to preach a truth. But as you see, he eventually addressed it and... It was three weeks ago when I posted a video titled Diddy Lawsuit Starting to Unveil the Secret Lies of Others, Including Your Favorite Bishop, T.D. Jakes. Now, obviously, I'm not the only one who's made a video related to this particular topic here. But I was always wondering when he would, you know, take the time to address it if he felt the need to address it. Well, as we see, he went into this service with the intent to speak the gospel only. He told everybody to log off if they thought he was going to use the sacred pulpit to address a lie. But he had to speak on it anyway. Now, he obviously didn't go in depth, but he still felt the need to speak on it when initially he intended not to. Not only did he address it when he didn't want to, he went as far as to say that even if it was true, all he had to do was repent. And you know what? I grew up I grew up as a Christian, man. I grew up under those conditions. I've watched people. I'm talking about, forget the word volley. I don't even know if that word apply the type of stuff I seen Christians doing to each other. And no accountability whatsoever. And it stuns you. Because, you know, you, you watch these people march around, shout around, speaking in tongues and all that. And I'm not speaking of all Christians, but I, I mean, come on now. Many of us know what it's like to grow up under a Christian environment. And a lot of them are straight hypocrites. And you're looking at one possibly right here. I mean, just think about all the allegations against them. He said, even if it's true, all he had to do was repent. That's the mentality of most Christian people that I know. They hide behind their religion and think that wipes away everything no there is a level of accountability sir and he didn't even take the time to speak on accountability he could have at least addressed accountability on the pulpit if he didn't want to address the allegations but it was burning in him so much that he went as far as to say on that sacred pulpit that even if it was true all he had to do was repent and that's always the attitude of the Christian generally.
And if you think I'm lying and you want to get mad at me, well, before you get upset with me, because I'm not the one on the pulpit making these statements. All right. So be mad at your favorite bishop for being caught up in these circumstances. He's the one that got to get on the sacred pulpit and explain himself out of what is coming his way. And it's not just things coming his way, but that he's allegedly been involved in and has to explain. But just remember, he said he did not want to get on that pulpit and explain. So please, I don't want too many people coming after me. I'd rather for you to come at your favorite bishop, Mr. TD. This is Smash the Light TV. So please smash that like button for me. And make sure you hit the subscribe before you take the next ride. Your brother Be Easy is out of here like Vladimir. Peace.